There's my muscle. And there's my tussle. Oh yeah. What's going on guys? It's Alexa back with another video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a few updates about the Jeep. Um, a lot has happened with it in the last uh, five or six days or so. And of course, um, I've been practicing driving it. I've only had it for about two and a half weeks now. Um, I've comfortably driven it to work, which is mostly highway traffic. And um, of course, I work a nine to five, so you know I get the brunt of the traffic. So as a new learning manual driver, <laughs> I have not enjoyed those days, but you know, I'm doing all right. So some of you guys have been wondering how my progress has been coming as far as driving manual. So I'm gonna give you guys that update here in this video. And I wanted to give you guys a few updates as well on some of the service that I had to get done for the Jeep. So if you guys don't know, um, it's a 2011 Jeep Wrangler Sport. Um, I noticed before I even bought it, I noticed that the handbrake had some issues where it wouldn't catch all the way or it would only catch sometimes. I thought it maybe was a cable that needed to be adjusted. Took it to the shop, turns out I needed a whole new handbrake system replacement essentially. Let me see, I think I still have it in the truck. I don't have it on me, but they replaced this whole system right here. So they gave me a brand new one. Um, I feel like I'm going to need to find a cover or something for this. It just looks very wide open, but the handbrake definitely works now. As you can see, it's good. It's tight. It's not going anywhere. When I first used it, I would be able to yank it all the way up to here. And I'm like, that's not functioning well. So, yep, it's good and solid now. Between that and they also replaced my lights with uh, an LED light kit. Um, I already tested it at night and it looks great. Um, I also replaced my uh, stock fog lights with some LED fog lights as well. So got a chance to keep the regular lights, so that's always good. You can see one of them was burnt out, so I wanted to get them uh, replaced anyway. So now they're just LEDs. Um, but yeah, like I said, I knew uh, this vehicle wouldn't be perfect, but like I said, I got it at a, a good price. I'm still very happy with it, and so far, you know, that maintenance, it was a little unexpected, but, you know, I, I knew it needed to be done. You can't compromise your stopping power, so I didn't want to take a risk. I went ahead and got it taken care of. The other thing that needed to be done besides the handbrake was they said my front brakes and rotors were starting to go bad. I noticed, you see how dirty this wheel is with all the brake dust, and then you look at the same wheel on the other side, not nearly as bad over here. So I was trying to figure out why is one side wearing so much worse than the other. Um, so they said, your brakes and rotors uh, need to be replaced very soon. It was good enough to pass inspection back in July, but um, they were starting to go bad. So they went ahead, gave me a new system. These are the new brake pads and everything. Um, I want to clean this, but I know it's going to rain tomorrow, so I'm going to, I'm trying to tell myself to hold off, but yeah, so new brakes and rotors, new handbrake system, LED lights and fog lights, came at a pretty little penny, um, can't say I was really happy about it, but it needed to be done, so um, this was more maintenance slash upkeep expenses, I was trying to get more into buying some more customization, like I know I want a new set of rims, I know I want this, I know I want that, it's it's just all stuff that's going to add up. So the Jeep mods are going to come slowly. Um, but if you guys are willing to contribute to uh, the funding for the Jeep or the Camaro or just this channel in general, I do have a Patreon page. I will leave the link in the description below. So make sure you guys go check that out. You're more than welcome to uh, check it out and donate. I really appreciate it. But you, do, you certainly don't have to. Um, this is all up to you guys. But I just want to let you guys know that it is there. Thank you, Bert. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to give you guys that update, and we're going to go on this drive because I need to head to four-wheel parts because these mirrors, these are pretty much uh, the stock mirrors, but they used to be here on the door. Um, the previous owner wanted to do what most Jeep Wrangler owners do and take off the door, so he moved them over here. He had a kit, an aftermarket kit, um, where he could replace the mirrors over to the frame, but... This mirror, you can only really see really well out of if this door is off. And I just thought that was pointless. Why didn't they make this passenger side a little bit longer? So I can't really see out of it. Um, 
I can see I could barely see out of it so that's too much of a hazard so I'm gonna go to fill four wheel parts to see if they have something for me hopefully that'll fit my Jeep and I'll feel a little more comfortable driving around in it so we're gonna check them out and we're gonna see what they say but uh you guys will get a nice little update on my driving abilities <laughs> Sure, all my mirrors are good besides that one. This one's good, so I certainly hope four wheel parts has something for me. Um, the funny thing is, this Jeep has a really nice sound system, and once I get more comfortable with driving manual, um, I can't wait to listen to it. Um, but right now, I'm so busy listening to the engine, so um, you know, we'll, we'll get better at that. was I let off the clutch too quickly. I thought I was going slow enough, but even then I wasn't, so. And just between those two, that's gonna be the main reason you stall. And once I got used to that, it wasn't too bad. Um, so yeah, um, you can let off the clutch a little bit faster when you're shifting in between like second and third and fourth and stuff like that but getting started you really need to have enough power to your engine before you can really go anywhere so I was just letting off the clutch too fast so that's my biggest tip for anyone that's learning is just let off the clutch really slow <laughs> like just give it some time it's just it's the traffic thing that I'm just really not looking forward to because on bad weather days this is going to be my ride to work and you know there's tra there's going to be traffic regardless so there's nothing i can really do about that so i really just got to get my leg conditioned to you know driving and stuff like that so i think i'll get used to it eventually and um i'd like to put an exhaust on it actually but i know it's a v6 so um you kind of have to be very particular with certain exhausts because some exhausts may make your car either sound cheap or you know i don't want my Jeep to sound like a Honda passing me by, so I wanted to sound like a truck. <laughs>
I really hope I don't have a repeat, <laughs> a repeat occasion, but um, so far I think I'm doing all right. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Part, so let's see what they got inside all right guys well an update on the mirrors most of the mirrors they had were more for uh, taking your doors off so I'm kind of looking more so for um, some more factory type mirrors of course the factory mirrors are going to be the most expensive and right now I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to order through them and get the factory mirrors I know what a dealership is going to cost way more so um, I'm going to go home, do some more research, and kind of get back with them later. If you have any tips, like I said, I'm still open for it. If you have any other suggestions with some mods or anything like that, I can do, um, you know, feel free to let me know. my content don't forget to subscribe to my channel like I said I post twice a week so thank you guys again for watching and I'll see y'all next time take care